Hi everyone, welcome to week 12. Um, the dangers here of working from home. My dog is uh, swishing her tail wildly everywhere she goes. But um, when I when I put her out, she barks. So it is what it is. So, sorry, week 12. We are looking this week at style. Um, style is a little bit slipperier, which is why I saved it until the end. This is the last week where you will have readings, and this is the last week where you have to create something new. So um, for the other, uh, we have two weeks of creation revision, and you can create, but you don't have to. Um, so let's dive into it. We're going to have a lecture on style. We're going to have a shorter lecture on the stories and the instructional texts. Um, I put the video before how to show not tell in a different week, but um, for our optional video, if you didn't watch it then, I highly recommend you watch it now. It's a little bit longer, but um, I think it can be really helpful and it's something in terms of style that we will be talking about again and, and covering, even though I've kind of mentioned it in a number <laughs> of other lectures because it comes up quite a bit. Our readings for this week, Time and Variance of Snow, um, or you can read Mrs. Dalloway on Bond Street, or you can read both. Time and Variance of Snow is a newer story. Mrs. Dalloway is a little bit older. Um, both have an experimental style, so I kind of just want you to read them and enjoy them for that and not worry too much about... Um, uh, the plot or the, the characters, the structure, or the style is kind of more prominent in these stories. Then we have a creative writing sample about style. And for that, we will be looking at um, an unpublished work from an author who is uh, still uh, working on revision. So we'll talk about um, her first her first version and, um, and the changes that she is planning on making. You have a discussion forum, the last one on stories, not the last one for the class, and then your writing assignment, which is about style. So you have um, some ideas here for revision or new scenes or chapters if you have a work in progress. Um, and then as I'm looking at it, I've put up the wrong assignment for you, but there are a number of prompts about style. And then there is, uh, again, as always, uh, any story or scene that you would kind of like to do. And um, by the time I post this, I'll fix it so that it's the right assignment and not a duplicate from a different week. Um, so that is what is coming up. I am excited to see what styles you decide to write in. If you want a lot of description, if you want no description at all, um, if you want to have short sentences that are to the point, if you want to have um, a lot of a lot of uh, uh, interesting kind of experimental style, kind of like the first week when we read um, the Gator uh, story, or this week when we have the the two stories that I presented for you. The choice is going to be up to you, and it really is more about finding your voice as an author this week. So I'm excited to see what you have. Thanks, everybody.